Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Let's talk about the Detroit Lions. Today they've got a 6-2 record, which hasn't happened since 2014. They just had their bye week, and it was perfect timing. Every player is back and practicing now. Their offensive line is in great shape, especially with Jonah Jackson back. Except for Sewell, all the starters missed a game, but now they're back. Jared Goff mentioned they haven't played their best game yet. They're just getting started. They even traded for DPJ Donovan Peoples-Jones, who's from Detroit and played at Michigan. He had 61 catches for 8 and 39 yards last season. I'm excited about the future of the Lions and can't wait for their game against the Chargers. David Montgomery is also back, which is great. Let's talk stats. Jameer Gibbs is seventh in the NFL for yards after contact with an average of 3.2 yards. Rookie Sam Laporta might reach 1,000 yards this season. He's also one of the top tight ends for yards after catch. Brown is having an amazing season with five 100-yard games. Before we dive deeper, if you like this video, smash that like button and subscribe for daily NFL updates. Love to all the Lions fans out there. Let's try to get 100 likes. Some people have been tough on the Lions, especially after their first game, a close win over Kansas City. But even though Kansas City was missing key players, the Lions have shown they're strong. They lost in overtime to Seattle, then won four straight games. They're learning how to win, even when it's not pretty. That's what great teams do. Now, with a 6-2 record, we're looking at playoff positions. It's a bummer Dallas couldn't beat Philadelphia last week. If the Lions get the top seed, no one will want to face them on the road. But it's still early, and we have to take it one game at a time. Some players are shining. Aiden Hutchinson is a superstar now, and McNeil has improved a lot. Unfortunately, we've got injuries in the defensive backs with Emmanuel Mosley and CJ Gardner-Johnson. There's talk about possibly adding veteran Casey Hayward to help. The defense is doing well, ranked 14th and giving up less than 21 points on average. The offense is 9th, scoring 25 points on average thanks to players like Goff, Montgomery, Gibbs, St. Brown, and Laporta. Goff has been great, with 272 yards per game, 12 touchdowns, and only 5 interceptions. His completion rate is 68.3%. The running game is also strong, with Gibbs stepping up when Montgomery was hurt. Gibbs is averaging 5.3 yards per carry and about 70 yards per game. Montgomery has six rushing touchdowns and almost 80 yards per game. As we face tougher teams like Philadelphia and Dallas, having both Montgomery and Gibbs will be crucial. Craig Reynolds is also doing well, averaging 4.4 yards per rush. He shows the great culture Dan Campbell has built in the receiving game, St. Brown averages almost 100 yards per game. Laporta is on track for nearly 1,000 yards this season. Josh Reynolds and Caleb Raymond are also contributing. We're waiting for Jibs and Jamison Williams to fully join the passing game, but adding DPJ adds more strength. The offensive line is one of the best in the league. The team may need some help for Hutchinson on the edge, but overall, they're doing well. Rookies like Brian Branch are stepping up when there are injuries, it's hard to criticize this Lions team. They've had some tough losses, but they've also shown they can bounce back. Their 6-2 in the season has been exciting. It looks like it'll only get better. That's it for tonight. If you enjoyed this, hit like and subscribe for daily NFL content. Lions fans, drop a comment with your team grade. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.